In computer graphics, a color gradient, some called, sometimes called a color ramp or color progression, specifies a range of position-dependent colors, usually used to fill a region. Colors produced by a gradient vary continuously with position, producing smooth color transitions. Here we see several square tiles of what some gradients you might use might look like. Our task today will be to create gradients on text and three shapes. So go ahead and open up Inkscape so you have a new canvas ready. As usual, make sure you click on view and you're on the default settings. And don't forget to click on the zoom to fit to fit your page. We also go to file document properties to make sure we're using US letter page size. We're going to click on landscape for this lesson and make sure our units are in inches. Let's start off really simple. Click on the square tool and click and drag a square. You'll notice along the bottom you have many many colors. You can scroll and find several hundred colors that you can click on. You should be able to just click on a color and change the color of the shape. Just like this. If you don't have the color, the fill and stroke menu on the right side, find the T over here and click on the one next to it that's the colors menu fill stroke stroke style okay so you turn fill on and off in order to get a gradient on our shape we have to find the gradient tool on the left side on the toolbar so here's our gradient tool click on the gradient tool and then inside of your shape click and drag a line. You'll see a gradient form. There's two types of gradients within this software, radial and linear. It should be defaulted to linear. So every time you click on either one of these you have to redraw a line within your shape. To change the colors of your gradients, click on the little square or click on the little circle and then along the scroll wheel, the scroll the scroller color selector, you can choose a color and it'll change that gradient. If you put your mouse over that gradient line and double click you create another spot for another color. You can grab these nodes and move them all around the shape. You can even move the one that you just created along the line. So you've completed one task so far if you've created this square with a gradient you can do the same thing with text click on your text tool click on your canvas and write something I'm gonna write my last name in the font menu pick a nice bold font like Aharoni click on your selector make your font larger by clicking and dragging in a corner And same skill as last time. Click on the gradient tool, click and drag a line across it. And then select the colors you want to use. Let's try it with a circle. But this time, click on the radial gradient so it won't let us select it just yet 
we have to draw a gradient inside the shape first, then select it, and then draw again. And remember, you can move the little nodes around. You can even change the width and the length by grabbing the little circles. If I wanted to make this look like a shiny ball or a sphere, the middle gradient can be dark, the outside gradient can be light. Let's make this one darker. There's another tool here where you can create stars and polygons. Click on the tool, click and drag. You might have less points than I do, you might have more points. Um, they're called corners. So if you look at the corners menu where my mouse is here, and click up and down. Also inside of the shape, there's these little squares that you can move inside and out to create different shapes. Let's apply a gradient to that. And there you have it. That's the gradient tool. If you get stuck or need help, let me know. And if you want something even more challenging, try drawing a flame. This is made with three shapes and a very simple gradient going from dark red to light yellow. These three shapes stacked on top of each other create a flame graphic.